just a Thoughts to come, allow thoughts to go. It's an allowing process, a letting go process, a tuning in process, a resting process. This taking time. for oneself through meditation has so many benefits. Whether you're a beginner or a long time meditator. And even in the midst of that, there are multitudes of types of meditation. There's even the notion of create your own meditation. I'm not opposed to it personally. I just want you to find the benefit in the pause, in the moment, in the opportunity to kind of lay those burdens down. And in this particular meditation, I'm going to guide you into an exercise within the meditation that has a link to what I'm going to be talking to you about today. And it's an aspect of the rain meditation, which was developed or uh, insightfully brought forward by Michelle Bradford, but popularized by Tara Brock. And I'll guide you through it, and then we'll talk about it as I present the lesson for this evening. So if you just keep your uh, eyes closed, if that's still comfortable for you, and I'll just guide you along. So I want you to bring to mind some uh, I will call it for our purposes today, a minor disappointment, a minor difficulty, a minor challenge. Try to Use something that you can use to learn the practice, the meditation practice. But for our purposes here now, don't pick the worst thing that's happening in your life or that has happened. So some light disappointment. 
something maybe that discouraged you. Maybe you were discouraged about someone else or maybe yourself. So just take a moment and see if you can uh, think of something. And not just think of it, but feel it as well. Think of it and then see what that feels like. This could be a difficulty with a friend or a co-worker. Maybe a goal that you set for yourself that you didn't follow through with. Just see cognitively how you're thinking about this issue. How are you analyzing this situation? And then also on a feeling level, How do you feel about this issue? The first step in this RAIN practice is recognize. Recognize, call to mind the situation, the difficulty, the challenge, the hurt, maybe even the harm. Looking at the issue. And noticing how you're responding to the issue, how you feel mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. The second phase of the RAIN meditation, after recognizing what's really going on with the issue, is to just allow. Allow yourself to see it, to feel it, to notice it to be with it, with curiosity and with gentleness. Maybe even looking at it in a way you haven't thought of before. Because usually if we get hurt or upset by something, the notion of allowing isn't the first thing that comes to mind. But in this meditation, the first step, recognize it. Second step, allow it. Allow yourself to feel what you feel, to view it how you view it.
What is your thought about it? And is there any physical manifestation that's connected to the issue? Like when you think about it, do you get a headache? Or do you feel anger rising up? The first step is recognizing the second step is allowing. The third step is investigating. Kind of looking at it from different angles. And within this, you can identify if you need something. Maybe you need a break. Maybe you need to go for a walk. Maybe you need to put some space between you and the issue. Maybe you need to let it go. Maybe you need to bring it forward. Really, the third step in the RAIN practice is investigating it from all angles, maybe from a perspective that you never thought about before. The final step in the RAIN meditation is nurture, nurture and comfort yourself. Was my issue, say, if I got upset, I'd recognize I'm really upset about this. I'd allow it to be okay. That's what I'm feeling. I'd investigate, look at it from different angles. Well, from this point, I see this. From this point, I see this. And the final step is nurture, comfort myself. Okay. Okay. And even as I'm doing that, I have this notion of how I would support a child who was having an issue. We recognize what's going on, kind of allow it to be, allow them to express themselves, kind of look at it from different angles, and then completing it by offering some comfort, which I would do to a best friend, or I would do for a child, or I would do for someone in need. But what would I do for myself? This RAIN practice is a way to offer myself a process and comfort in the midst of any stressors that I'm personally going through. 
and it's offered in the form of a meditation. So just allow yourself to maybe take a couple of deep breaths as we get toward the end of this meditation. Recognizing sometimes it's not desired or comfortable to have to recall an uncomfortable situation. The main, the main offering of the RAIN meditation practice is that it gives you a process that helps you work through the issue and mitigate any of the harm that might be done, meaning it's going to activate your parasympathetic nervous system and deactivate your stress hormones. Letting it go now. Let's end this meditation somewhat as we began. Taking a few deep breaths together. Or you're going to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. So inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth, blowing it out. Dropping your shoulders. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth, blowing it out. And inhale through your nose. And exhaling through your mouth, blowing it out. 